My name is Bill Haley for the government reform called 70% Democracy. Now, you go back hundreds and hundreds of years, and when democracy started becoming a thing, um, and mostly through America, but some in Europe and other places first, I know there was a lot of kings and queens and a royalty, and we didn't have democracy. But when we started having actual votes, and this democracy is the way of representation, by the way. It's not pure democracy where you're voting um, for every person voting for each policy issue. It is a democracy in the, in the manner of representative republic. Um, but I but right now, that's a 50%. You get your representations off 50%, and then they get to vote. Um, but you only need 50% of your representatives to win that vote to do that policy. I want to change it to 70%. Why, why should it be 50%? If they cannot achieve 70%, automatically it remains at the... Um, at the individual business free market level, it's not in government. So if they cannot achieve 70% vote in the in the legislative office and we branch, then they are then it stays free enterprise. They can't pass that law. Um, and that will mean a lot less being done by the government. In my opinion, that would be significantly better. Now that doesn't mean that stuff doesn't get done. A lot of that stuff has to be done through the free enterprise system. Just because we lower taxes, I want to lower taxes from about 45% of GDP to 10 to 15%, somewhere around that range. So this will do it. Um, but that doesn't mean that 20 to 25, 30% of GDP that's not being done by government anymore doesn't need to be done. Yes, it does. It just needs to be done through the free enterprise system. You still have to pay through the free enterprise system to educate your children, to do, um, there, there's a lot of things we can do um, push back into free enterprise, roads, and, and just a lot more. So take social social security out of government, bring it to a, a more of a um, competitive thing. Yeah, we, you pass a law with say, saying 70% saying you have to save up for your retirement through a, a system, through a, um, but you don't have to do it through a monopolized governmental system. So there's a lot to it. Okay, so let's just go with this saying here. If the government is going to force everyone to fund a program or abide by a regulation, should we not require a higher percentage than 50%? This will, this will dramatically reduce down how much regulations and only have the regulations and laws that can meet that 70%. That, that means they're gonna be much um, more agreed upon, a lot less disagreement within society that that regulation is unfair or whatever. Because if 51%, that means 49% of the people are unhappy. If 70% agree on it, that means that there's a lot more buy-in by society. You just, you're just you not going to have so much being done that way. Um, okay, there's a lot more to it. I have a lot of bullet points. You, if you're on Facebook, scroll down a little bit back and forth and you can read see these bullet points easily. If you're on YouTube, go to Haley2024.org and you can find those bullet points easily as well. Plus, my whole website is basically made uh, for that with a lot of other re reforms, significantly re um, reforming the Constitution, the structure of government, and the like. Until the next video.